decent sort of an imp. Yep. Found anything worthy of your talents? <sighs> this will have to do. Soon you can put them to good use. By Emir, is that a a Salakar? I never knew they actually existed. I know all the sagas of your people that I've never heard of. I never said my people. You mean the Light Elves? Fucking Apple. There aren't many who remember the Children of Light or their stories. I do. When Sutor invaded their lands, they begged me for aid. But the war with the Vanir had only just ended, and I was weary. Long after, I learned how Sutor devoured the Elves' immortal light, Hooger by Hooger. Maybe it's the same light that now allows him to renew himself after death. During the conquest, he must have uncovered knowledge of the Salakars. But to what end? What Hoogers does it hold? Those of two warlords. One a Muspel. The other a Jotun. Dude, Jotun? Nothing Big more. gun? Nothing more. At least not of value. He speaks the truth. Wow, well, there she is. Lava Wayman. You deal with a fire nymph? A fire nymph? I am the finest fire nymph in all of Spalfelheim. Allow me to introduce Asa, treasonous daughter of Sutur, and my friend. You grow dewy-eyed in your dotage. Hmm. Anyways. Earth. Only rumors. My father is rebuilding something large and powerful. Though its exact nature I cannot fathom. And the Salakar is intended to be part of this. This something. Most likely. Either way, its value to my father is so great he may indeed trade your son for its return. Return to your stepmother. Arrange a trade. And one more thing. I would feel better knowing you're protected. Sinmara travels far and wide. But I will rejoin her as you wish. I wish I was a hot Salakars. fire whammon. I must steal it back once Balder is safe. Why? Like Narok comes. I've made plans, but they are not ideal. Perhaps the Salakar offers another way. One that will allow me to truly save those I care about. Even you. Mm, to unlock its secrets, I will need help. There are rumors of a shelter nearby. Its dwellers may be able to assist me. Uh, I know the place. Home to the most ill-tempered shits imaginable. Tell them I sent you. No dwarf would give up the chance to work with Ibaldi. Vangrin was once home to your rivals, Sinri and Broker. Your name may not carry much weight here. Don't make me laugh. No one cares about those two. I'll follow you once I've finished taking what I need. Okay. A word, my friend. Ivaldi requests your aid. <laughs> Ain't my concern. Go talk to Orgre. He's the master oh, of his workshop. Master? <laughs> nah, boy, he's chief when the masters ain't here. Let's see which one is Oliver. <laughs> Hello there. I bring word from Ivaldi. What do I care? Go talk to the ganger. Ganger? Yeah, the chief. Name's Oakland. Ain't this guy. Keep looking. This guy. What do you want? There he is. Evil descends me. He requires the help of a skilled artisan. A meeting of minds, huh? Well, it ain't up to me. You'd best talk to Brokir or Sindri. They still breathe. Where are they? No idea. Sindri went off adventuring. He does that. 
Mind you, it's been a while since he left. How much of a while? Couple of weeks. And his absence doesn't worry you? Not my business where he goes. And Brooker? Went to look for Sindri. <laughs> Bit of a worry guts, that one. Ever since he mucked up the forging of Mjolnir. Yo. Anyway, look, leave your name and I'll pass it to Brooker when he shows up. Tell him Harvey of Asgard was here. Harvey of... By Ymir? Really, it is you? I'll return tonight. In the meantime, fetch Ivaldi. He's at the old workshop ruins. I'm sure I know you. You'll get us in trouble. All enemies. Samara. Mara. Most vicious. And when she and Suter were bitter rivals, she led the coup against him. Almost claimed his crown and then announced their marriage. I know not what deal was struck, but we must remain forever alert to her plots. Odin speaking to the adolescent Balder. And now we wait. So stupid. There's no reason for that text to be on that screen for that long. At all. No human being reads that slow. Nah, nobody. Nobody. If you read that slow, you shouldn't be playing a video game. Sorry. An ogre could tear me limb from limb and still my severed hands would finish the job. That is focus. That is passion. That is... Poor shit. Master Brooker, I'm glad you've made it home. And your brother. Did you find him? Yeah. You never did say where he was. Yeah. I believe Sindri went adventuring. Adventuring? No, no, that's not it. He went that's to find the it. special mead. Had a hankering, he said. Special mead? Yeah, the special mead. Suttunger's special meat. What's that frosty ass got to do with it? We ain't in Jotunheim in case you hadn't noticed. Well, there's this mead they make down at the brewery. So sweet, it can... Uh, it can... Uh, well, it's bloody sweet, all right? Anyway, Sindri had an itch for it. Just a horn or two, he said. So, off he goes. That was half a moon ago. I told him not to do it. Too many giants out there, but he wouldn't listen. Oh, him and his cravings. Where can I find this brewery? Aethorpe, southeast of here, other side of the marsh. Can't miss it. You're going to rescue him? I will find him, yes. And afterwards, you and he will repay me by helping Ivaldi when the job I need done. Now hold on, we didn't... Uh... Good, good, we have a deal. That gadfly? It was Loki. Thor himself could not have withstood the sting. So, why is the great Ivaldi snoo- Ah, the sweet scent of meat. Fouled by the stench of Muspels. And Jotnar too. Of course, I can't get in. So I have to find the arbitrary key. It's just, it's these mechanics that I think ruin the game. That 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 are. It's such bad game design. But it's like, what else are you gonna do? You know, as a developer, you have these mechanics like the keys and the doors, and it's like, well, if you're designing a level. And these are the mechanics that you have at your disposal.
if if these are the mechanics that you have, right? If these are the mechanics that the systems designers have given you as a level designer, what else are you gonna do? And you only have a certain amount of time to make the level. Like I get it. I just, I just wish, I just wish that the developers were given more time to make a quality product. He must have taken a bath in it. I wish the mechanics were better. I wish the I wish the writing was better. I wish the story was better. I wish the delivery was better. I wish the gameplay was better, so I didn't have to use cheats to bypass the gameplay because it's just so bad. I wish it was shorter. There are so many things that could be done that could alleviate this game just by removing half of it. Dano snapping away half the content. And, and you'd have a, a a decently solid like 30 to 30, 30 hour experience. Like 20, 30 hour experience with all the DLC. You know? Instead of 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 hours of this, of running around in a room without a mission location, looking for these things so that Abby can say a line, the bar can go up a little bit. Some days ago, Sindri was captured while sneaking outside. He was dragged in here for interrogation. His belongings were seized. Even his roasted acorns, one of the many dwarven delicacies I will never fathom. They tried to loosen his tongue using the same sweet meat he himself sought. Almost drowned him in it. But the shelter has not been raided. So Sindri must have remained strong and refused to give them its location. Instead, he was dragged away. Bloodied, drunk as a fish, but alive, most likely to face further tortures at a makeshift prison named Yarmsus. That is where I should go next. The giants have no mercy. When I face them, I will show them none. Most of the dead have been roasted upon the flames. Oh. I know this mark. Brought the, the body, brought the dead boy. Who is this you bring? No, it can't be. No. Master Broker, I share in your grief. Truly I do. Your brother was the worthiest of dwarves. More so than you will ever know. Oh, Sindri. No. No, my dear Sindri. Wine, wine, wine. Complain, complain, complain. Are being made outside. I must use this chance to bend broker to my will. The Masters. Like that shitty golf tournament. Whoa. I heard what I said about the shitty golf tournament and it got mad. I just don't know what's happening, and I just don't care, you know? I want more of the story of the fuck happened in that fucking cave with Basim, and Layla, and Desmond, and the characters that I'm interested in. I don't care about Broker, this fucking dwarf that will never show up ever again after this mission. Tell me everything. I heard a great roar, like that of a wounded bear. Soon after, 
I witnessed the final act of a mighty battle. Sindri beset by giants on all sides. It was he who made the godlike roars. He... He always did have a deep voice. He wielded his hammer and chisel with uncommon skill. Yes! Yes! I've seen him do it many times in the workshop! Giants lay strewn about, slain by Sindri's hand. <gasps> but then... One of cowardly aspect struck your brother treacherously in the back. Yet even as Sindri succumbed to the blow, he locked his chisel and struck the coward dead right between the eyes. Sindri did all that? So it will be written. I must find a way to ease Brooker's sorrow and make him amenable to my wishes. <sighs> Where could they be? They weren't lying when they Something said they called me this. Eivor the Talker. Is it's all I do in this We're fucking game. The smith who ever lived, and we don't have his tools to put with him. I came across some at Aelthorpe. If you want, I can fetch. Those are just the spares. He never took his best ones from the shelter. I see. How is it that such valuable instruments have been misplaced? Misplaced? <laughs> don't be daft. Hidden, more like. By hidden? Sindri. The to hidden sure ones? No one else ever touched them. Particularly hidden Brooker. one. Except now we can't find them. <clears throat> and you have no idea where they might be. Well, they're inside the shelter. I can tell you that. Well, they can't be too far. I wouldn't be surprised if they're somewhere up high. I thought dwarves were afraid of heights. Not our Sindri. He was quite the climber. Now me, well, I prefer to keep my feet on the ground right where they should be. Harvey, please let me grieve in peace. Now Brocker is all alone. How will he ma Finally, the tools of Sindri's trade. Reunite these tools with Sindri's remains before the ceremony begins. The disaster has been averted. Oh, now I see why some call you God. You're making me blush. Still, I have my moments. Heroes die, but not their legacy. Such was Sindri's courage that tonight he feasts in Valhalla, the first of his kind to ever do so. Ugh. has come. I'm here for the mead, not the company. You dwarves and your love of mead. It's caused me enough trouble already. It wasn't a dwarf who ransacked half of Jotunheim in search of some mysterious mead. <laughs> I wouldn't know anything about that. You know, old friend, now would be a good time for some grand gesture. Like what? A respectful speech from you, Sindri's greatest rival, would surely... Ah, oh, fuck off. We must all make compromises. I can even give you the honeyed words. Time soothes the well of suffering, brings hope that sees beyond chill death, recasts the whirlpool of sorrow into the placid waters of the philosophic mind. Are those words for Sindri or Baldur? Baldur lives. Why would he need such words? Of course, of course. I, I, I didn't mean to... Well, you know. Fine, I'll do the speech. But it will be one of my making, not yours. We dwarves don't care much for poetry. Still, we can't set about making speeches until the torches are all lit up. Ivaldi has come. Perhaps he can be. 
city of years. Light the ceremonial torches. Lighting them. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, dude. Yeah, 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 your brother or whatever. Dead as fuck, right? This is war. This is wolves have saved the place for me. This is a great honor. This is beat ass hours, right? This ain't no bitch bitch hours. My brother, <clears throat> a true master. He was, sir. Uh... I did not like Sindri, and he did not like me. Still, he was good with the hammer, and the chisel, and the saw. And he knew how to work the bellows. Some said better than anyone. Even me. <laughs> Broker, your brother was a very fine smithy. I... I admired him greatly. Good. <laughs> Master Broker, you've given Sindri an excellent send-off. It's the least he deserves. <laughs> is it really true he feasts in Valhalla? It is. No. I saw it in a vision. Oh, he did as fuck. Come, let's take a stroll. Do you think that's Loki? Are you prepared to continue Do you think that's why it's, it's zoomed on in for so long? Evaldi was not my brother's work. But defying Sutra was. It's what got him killed. Greed for mead is what got him killed. It took courage to go after that mead. A direct challenge to Sutra's authority. This is crooked thinking. Seems straight enough to me. Mom is crooked thinking. You know, I don't reckon I owe you a bloody thing. I risked my life to retrieve your brother's body. Now I prepare to risk it again. For you, and all of Svartal Vale. Bollocks! You ain't doing anything out of the goodness of your art. I know what you're after. I know all about your lad, Balder. I have ears, you know, even in my grief. So... Don't pretend you're here for us, because I know- Would you have me abandon my own son, and strive only for your salvation? Okay, when you say it like that... I... Uh, I need time. I'm still grieving, you know? Let me think on it, alright? A little old think. passes by I should check on Broker see if he has come to his senses if he hasn't I must encourage him further or a new mission it's just it's too fucking big good to see you're getting along they like they saw they saw like so um, Broker you accept your duty uh like Dark Souls games, much choice, and they saw. Last thing I need is a godly smite um, on me ass. 
Bethesda games, and we're like, well, let's make that, but even bigger. And with even less content somehow. To study the Salakar, I'll need the very best of tools. Too bad this workshop is lacking. Bagger off! I got more stuff here than you can wag a finger at. Doubt it. <gasps> oh, there she is. Fire whamming. If you find something you don't know how to use, just ask. <laughs> I'll be giving you lessons on how to use your Bickering own. Bickering dwarves. How unusual. Hey, sir, you return. There she is. What? You deal with a fire nymph? Not this again. What news do you bring? My stepmother is stubborn. I cannot push too hard or she will grow suspicious. She has no interest in a trade. Interest, yes. But not yet the will. I don't understand. The Salakar is all but indestructible. You, on the other hand, are not. She assumes she'll catch me, kill me, and retrieve the Salakar. Time is on her side. Then I must strip her of this illusion. If I were to make a nuisance of myself, one that cannot be ignored. Sinmara prepares to lead my father's next major invasion. But if I were to disrupt her plans, it may force her to the bargaining table. Sounds risky to me. I once plotted and carried out the murder of Ymir himself. What do I care of risk? Well, since you put it like that... Where must I strike? At Af Alvat Milna. My stepmother develops a strange army. At Yofrsmida, she breeds beasts of war. And finally, there's Drekathorp, her supplies hub. I'll deal with all three. In the meantime, I shall return to Aetri. Third, three missions. I will send word once my stepmother has Multiple become quests accepted. Amenable. Thanks, Fire Whammon. I'll when I'm done. And I will expect answers regarding the Salakar. Destroy the supplies. These? Oh, I found them, guys. I found the iron boars. There they go. What? What is that dialogue? Ragnarok is unstoppable. It, it it's impossible. But uh, one thing that I know is that impossible is impossible. Just like Kim possible. plants lie in ruins. I just hope you know what you're doing. Surely I should be asking that of you. Now, tell me, what does it do? Where's your daddy? What does he do? And they're sneaky. You've learned nothing? Whatever its use, the power it contains, it holds more than what you said. Such as? Well, for a start, there's a bloody dwarf in there. Anyone we know? No, and it's not important. Dwarf hoogers don't carry much weight. Not even mine. So, what does it contain? All I know is that it's more than Malviger, Calder, and some dwarf no one cares about. Fine. In the stories, what was the actual point of the Salakars? Hoogers were what vitalized them. But it was the magic that gave them their purpose. And that magic was different to each one. Magic? You mean Seder? Nah, some elf shit no one knows anymore. Except Sutur. That fire nymph? She sent word. And? Your plan worked. Shinmara's ready to barter, if it means getting you out of the way. Where? At the bridge leading to Fagarda. Light the beacon, and she'll come out with your lad. The power that the Salakar holds. 
It must not fall into Surtur's grasp. Now, I'll reclaim it once Balder is safe. A light. You bring that which is Sutter's. Give me what is mine. <laughs> and I will hand over what is his. <laughs> Come midway. is this Balder, I, I got you. oh it's him Really, him. Frost Giant. Why did he give it? I can't climb that. Side of the his gate, the uh, Baldur's gate. Baldur must be close for the illusion to have worked. Yeah, but you just handed over like the thing. Out of the man. Below me, heard. Don't be locked or barred or something. Baldur is behind the door. these doors. Locked cells. I must find the proper keys. It's just key finder simulator. It's key finding simulator. Every mission. Every mission has a locked door that has a key that I gotta find. Every was single mission. Whoever was dragged here was badly wounded. Every mission. Yet he was strong. It took at least four jailers to hold him. It's every mission. It's the same Truly, thing every single time. Truly, you dare to torture my own flesh and blood. If only I could bring you back from the dead and kill you all over again. Just key finder simulator. That's it. One of the many prison keys. Not all of them are 
here, it seems. Like... I'm playing the fucking escapist, bro. There was a door here in the center that I think was the right one. Not Balder. Darn. No. How could this have happened? Oh, he's fine. See? He's speaking. Is he speaking? All right, there he goes. He said nothing. I must meditate. Ball. The, the, the apple. Not even sure if it's an apple. Is there meant to be a dude here? It's just a floating sword. Are there character models that aren't spawning? No, the fire whammon, the hot one. She was killed by the possessed floating sword. I'm so fucking confused. Her character model didn't spawn. There's there's definitely meant to be another character there. She just didn't spawn. At this point, I shouldn't even be surprised. I shouldn't even be surprised. Oh, she's above me. Wait, maybe she's not. This This looks like the right place. I wouldn't know, because, uh... Yeah, this is definitely the boss arena, this place. There she is. She finally spawned in. The hero of Asgard. But you are an imposter. Imposter. Heart as black as tar. Savage. Monstrous. You've locked that truth away. Built a code to act as its jailer. But the darkness cannot be kept hidden. It oozes out like pus from a wound, poisoning everything it touches. That is what it means to be 
Odin the Deceiver. Prepare to be. Yeah? Yeah, there she goes. That is fuck. Get rolled. Oh, she's upset. No, she's so sad. She gonna cry. When? I killed the, the non-existent invisible whammon. That thing is, I don't know if there's supposed to be dialogue here or not. Because it's broken. Die. 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 Bam. I kill you. Destroy. Here we go. This is such an emotional moment right now, you guys. They killed him. They killed Balder. That character that I think I've seen in another cutscene at some point. But it's really important to Odin. So you as the player should feel really, really, uh, really heartbroken right now. Because can't you see how it's affecting Odin? Who isn't even Odin's character model. It's just... It's just Raven Picker. Oh, look at me! I'm I'm just I'm just going I'm going ham. I'm just killing. Is this the same mechanic as the as the tree where I just have to leave? No, I can't. I just have to keep killing. I think. I'm assuming I just have to keep going. Keep going. I'm killing. Oh, I can't use my camera no more. So. Bam. Here we go. He's consumed by his, by his hatred, by his grief, something. Getting pulled out, I think. Was that the end? Was that the end? Tell me that's not the end. No Ragnarok cutscene? No big giant Uther monster? What is it? What did you see? All my struggles mattered nothing in the end. My son was lost before he began. His premonition come to pass. Your son? Baldur. Harvey's son. You know what I mean. So, Baldr met his fate, as was foretold. Ever you have sought to elude the looms of the Nornir, but we are all caught in their weave. No, I will not believe it. There is more to see yet. Why was I thrown from my dream? 
Perhaps it was not the vision that rejected you, but you who rejected You must the grind more Perhaps open world bullshit to level up I more. Fear nothing. I think you do. And until you recognize that fear, give in to it, embrace it, the vision will not return. Some walls cannot be overcome by potions alone. Tell me what I must do. This saga does not end here. It cannot. Meet me in the forest when darkness lays upon the land. There we shall see how fearless you truly are. Oh man, I went into an East supercomputer. I'm of Odin trouble me. Am I alone in seeing them? Or do the tales of Svatalfheim hold some other meaning? This is spit knot right here, homie. I will tie your hands now. Sure. What purpose <clears throat> will that serve? So you cannot get away you from the fire. You are too much the warrior, Eivor. You will not recognize your fear until you are helpless before it. Drink. You say this will bring the vision back. Is that all? You mean to leave me here? Bitch. Volka, this is. Why must I be tied? Volka. Here comes Suter. Tie. Now I can free myself. It's working. The bonds are loosening. Free. Now for the reckoning. Die, wolves. Die, wolves. Accursed phantoms. Come then. You'll not find me lacking. Ow. Bruh. A river. Infinite wolves. Out. Motherfucker. Not a 
hold him. The wolf is gone. For now. I am ready, Volka. It is time. I lay down in the grass. I lay. Going back in, boys. It's hard to say. There's no way. That can't be the end, brother. <laughs> That's so stupid. Uther and I, we crossed blades once, back when there was nothing at stake but our pride. Of course, one day he and I must fight again. I do not know when or why, only that it will happen. When it does, you must stand well clear. I will not risk my most beloved child getting caught in that fray. Odin speaking to an adult balder. And now we wait. Reckoning? I'm for the reckoning? What? Has the shelter fallen? These moose bulls are a plague. No, not the moose bulls. They're back. Bird kill. This way! Help! Hobby, you're back! Yes, yes! One moment while I clear out this mess. Help! Over here! Over here! Orther! Hey, Orther! Over here, Orther! Damn moose bells. They came out of nowhere. Where is the Salakar? Have you lost it? Drokkur left the shelter yesterday before the raid even happened. Took the Salakar with him. Where has he taken it? Since you went away, he has become erratic. The Salakar, it, it's all that matters to him now. You should learn from his example. Now where is he? Where? The other night, he spoke of exploring the crater of Atri to seek out more answers. He takes the Salakar to Sutra's front door. Wait! Where have you been these past few days? Days. No matter. It's where I go that matters. And where is that? Atri? Wherever I can find vengeance. Calm yourself, Harvey. Collect your wits. An eye for an eye will leave us all blind. What do I care of eyes? Down here. Broker, where is my Salakar? Take it easy, it's right here, nice and safe. I wanted to investigate something, but then I tripped and... Can you walk? No. Then I shall carry you. Oh, gentle! Ah, I ain't a bleeding sack of spuds, you know. What have you learned of the Salakar? Might just know how to use it. Of course. You're going after Surtur. 
you'll most likely end up feasting in Valhalla. Valhalla? <laughs> it is for the feeble and the blundering. No, I shall not die. Worlds may end, but I, Harvey, shall abide. What about Sindri? You calling him feeble? What would he be doing in... Ah, yes, yes. He's there in Valhalla, of course. For one such as he... So, tell me the Salakas' purpose. Mm. Having a clue? Can it kill Sutor? Well, that ain't its purpose. But yeah, I think it can. How? It harnesses the light. A lot of light. That was Baldur's gift. To turn day to night and back. Is that why Sutor stole his Tugger? Yeah. The others, they're just for balance. But, see, there is one more in there. Like Baldur's. Incomplete. Whose is this Hooger? Sultur's. An itsy bitsy snippet, mind you. I don't understand. I think. I think if the Salakar touches Sultur, the two will come together. The Salakar is already complete. Nothing gets in or out. A torn Hooger will always try to reunite itself. His might just be strong enough to do it. If that happens, he will become the Salakar. Then nothing can stop him. Only if he can control all that light. But I don't think he can. His old carcass ain't made for it. It'll be like trying to hold the ocean in a single hog's bladder. This thinking. How can I be sure you're right? You ain't heard all me workings out. Do you truly believe the coming together will be too much for Sutur? Uh, best try it when he's weak. Ideally dead. Well, not dead dead, of course, just normal dead. Before he wakes up all over again. You've done well. Now give me the Salakar and leave this place. It is too dangerous. I ain't leaving. I come this far. Do as you're told. Friend. Got my apple. Confront Sitter. Confront Sitter. No, my destiny is Ragnarok. Far in the future, not Svadar's hate. Be strong, High One. Gorge on these bitter fruits. Final boss, Sitter. Here, fool! Your twilight comes! Still drawing breath? I have a cure for that. What great sound design this is. This is incredible. Amazing sound design. Golden. Dead as shit. Turn them into Dead is shit. Die! <laughs> hey! Give us a hand! This is no place for dwarves. I've earned my right to see this through. <clears throat> I told you it would work. And there you are, doubting me. Oh, here he comes. He's really pissed. This looks like it was just a key. That, on the other hand, have a key. You want the rest? Come, claim it. You really shouldn't have come here. You! 
come and claim it! I don't yes. run from the fire! Rushed. I am the fire! My man didn't move at all. My man just stood there and didn't do a single thing. That's like my teammates in Overwatch. They just stand in the middle of the open. Oh, here we go. We're running. I could teleport there, but I won't. Keep saying the same line over and over again. Alright, giant Dark Souls boss. One-shotted. So much for your grand plan, you fool. You sought to harness the power of the light. Of my son! You would have turned you into the wrecker of worlds. But in this feeble state, his light will devour you whole! And beam me up, Scotty. <laughs> it's same line. <laughs> the strong high one. Oof. That was something. Um, I I have so many thoughts about this whole game. Cause I think we're done. That was one of the worst video games that I've ever played in my entire life, ever. Um, it is way too long. It is way too bloated. The gameplay is awful. And I cheated most of the systems that make it even worse than it would otherwise be anyway. The combat without cheats is a repetitive button masher that has no good animations whatsoever. Like, Nier Automata has very button mashy combat, but there's combos, and there's abilities, and there's powers, and there's things that you can do in Nier Automata to make the combat interesting. And the animations are cool, and they're fun to look at. This game has none of that. And so because the combat is so bad, and so button mashy, and so grindy, and so repetitive, I just made everything a one-hit kill. Um, the combat is terrible. The story is 
terrible in parts, but good in others. The, the, the first section of the whole game in Norway is good. The, 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 the sections in the middle in England with Sigurd and Basim are good. The sections of everything else in England is terrible. It's some of the worst writing, some of the worst game design, some of the worst pieces of video game I've ever played in my life. Because they are hour-long side stories of characters that you don't care about and characters that you will never meet again besides one once or twice maybe at the end by then you've already forgotten about everybody that you that you that you that, that, that you talked to beforehand none of the characters matter none of the choices matter none of none of anything matters if this game was just just like from a structural perspective, if this game was just the first opening section in Norway, that hour to two hours of gameplay, and then you land at England, and you do the Let Us Just Shire arc with Basim and... Actually, I don't think Basim is in that arc. It's just Sigurd. But you do the Let Us Just Shire arc, and then... Um, um, it, it's, it's Suthix and Essex... And I think there's another one. Any, any one of the, the, um, the arcs that have Asim and Ulke and, um, Sigurd, the important characters, the characters that people actually care about, that people actually are invested in. And then after those arcs are done, like four or five of them, then you do the entire final section with the tree thing at the end, which was excellent. And then you resolve Layla's story. Layla meets up with 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 Desmond in the in the tree thing, and then the game is over. And you can have the whole game be done in like fifteen hours, and. You don't have to. We don't have to do any of the other garbage. You don't have to do. I. I didn't even have to deal with the leveling system. If, if I had to level my character up, a hundred and fifty times or whatever it is to get to power level three hundred, I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have done it. I would have quit the game. I just wouldn't have done it. I wouldn't have done it, because. I. Already I'm at the point where I'm like, I never want to play this game again. And the thought and the idea of grinding open world bullshit with 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 what this game has to offer for another 10, 20, 30, 40 hours is miserable. I just it just seems miserable. The game design is terrible. The 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 constant locate areas, exploration areas investigation areas and and the, the the doors that are locked by keys that are locked by bars that are that are the, the buildings where there's there's stained glass windows but the stained glass windows have bars on them so you can't go through them and it seems like the, the there's so many times where rooms and buildings are over designed not to be fun interesting puzzles to solve on how to get into them but there's one way in and it's arbitrary that you have to find the key to get in. And if you don't find the key to get in, you can't progress. It's not a, you can find the key to get in. But you can also climb over this wall if you like to parkour more. So if you like stealth, you can do the stealth option, which is finding the key. Or you can do the parkour option, which is climbing around. Or you can just run in the front by killing everybody. Multiple options, multiple ways to get in. Instead of putting spikes everywhere all along the outside of the fort... And then having one locked door be the one way to get in. So you have to get the key and you have to do it. And then you have to do it again. And again and again and again and again and again. Terrible. Um, 
the the DLCs where you play as this one and the Asgard one were terrible. Um, the fact that they don't use Odin's character model, even though they have it. The fact that they don't use Odin's voice actor. I, I, I again, I think that it would be better because Odin's voice actor is just Javi's voice actor, the male one. So I think that experience would be better as male, male Avor, but. I, I didn't enjoy either one of those DLCs. The France DLC was good. Um, the I, I I liked the story thing with the um, going to North America and having the the um, Desmond Miles wall thing that he dies in later. Like, there's parts of this game that are okay. And the level design is great. Uh, or should I say the art design is great. The levels are beautiful. They're immaculate. They're so pretty. It's it's the art art team killed it this 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 game. Our team killed it. Well done. Genuinely. Like like incredible work from the art team. And even from the level designers to create a giant open open world like this it's great it's just there's nothing interesting to do in it because the game design is so bad and the combat is so bad and the stealth is so bare bones i i i just i think that's everything I, i'm trying to think of other positive things to say about it um, the, I, I liked some of the characters. Um, I like Sigurd, for sure. And I like Basim a lot. I'm very, very excited to see what, um, Assassin's Creed Mirage is gonna be. Um. Because apparently it's it started its life as a Valhalla DLC. Can you imagine that there was going to be more content for this game? Um, it started its life as a Valhalla DLC and morphed into its own 15-hour like experience. And I'll try it without mods first. Maybe maybe in vulnerability, but I'll try it without without a lot of like the insta kill mods to see how good the gameplay is before I move on to that. But. I'm very excited for Basim stuff. I'm very excited to to see if we can get resolution on this whole like tree thing. Um, I I liked where the story ended up. I liked the resolution of of Layla's story arc. Um, I like that Layla and uh, Desmond Miles are in the same place um i i very much just feel that it didn't need to take as long as it did for us to get there you know i i didn't i didn't need to spend 30 to 40 hours pacifying england with the knowledge that these guys are going to lose eventually anyway and the Saxons are going to take over the whole island anyway. So it literally doesn't make a single shred of difference what I'm doing. Because we're going to lose in the end. None of that matters. All of the whole entire pacifying England 30 hour main story is useless. Useless. Um... I don't know. I, I I think if I were to give this game a score, without mods, it's a 0 out of 10. It is an unplayable video game. It is unplayable. I would never recommend this to my worst enemy. With mods, like a 2... It, it's just, 
Because I compare, I compare this game a lot to Odyssey. Because it's very similar in a lot of ways. <laughs> and I just replayed Odyssey before this. And I, I... The first two times I played through Odyssey, I did not enjoy it. And I did not have mods. And it took so... It was like this. It just took so long. And the combat is arduous. And it's terrible. Having instant kills and being able to teleport around that massive map actually made Odyssey okay. It was like a 6 or 7 out of 10 for me. Because the story was good, and the characters are good. I've always liked Cassandra. I've always found Cassandra to be interesting. Um, I, I finally understood what the staff is, the staff of Aramis. I finally understand what it is, what it does. Um, like, there's parts of, of Odyssey that are good. Killing the mythical creatures is good. I, I, I like the multiple endings. I don't even know if this game has multiple endings because none of my choices actually mattered the whole entire game. Um, th this, this game, though, just doesn't have any of that. The world design is pretty, but... And this may just be a personal thing. I'm less invested in the Vikings than I'm invested in the Greek stuff. And I'm already not in very invested in the Greek stuff. And it's, it's just kind of an aesthetic thing for me as well. Like, I vastly prefer... My eyes vastly prefer looking at beaches and oceans and bright colors and... And, like hot a areas um instead of snow and cold and blizzards everywhere not to say that the art team doesn't do a great job here it's just it's an aesthetic choice that i am personally not as interested in it's a setting i'm not as interested in i feel like if you were if you're if you're like a huge viking fanatic like you're like I understand all the lore and all the characters and all the background and all that. You're going to love the game's story. Ubisoft Kiev. Wonder if they're still in business. Um. Um. I just, I don't get any of that. The, the fact that the game never does its due diligence to tell you that you're playing as Odin is insane to me. The fact that for the first two hours of that Asgard arc, my character was being called Javi. It wasn't even the Asgard arc. It was the entirety of the Jotunheim arc and then the first two hours of the Asgard arc, before I had to look it up on Google who Javi was. Because I had no idea. I had no idea who Javi is. It's like, now I know, Javi is just Odin. And my, my theory is that... Um, uh, um, Eivor is like a reincarnation of Odin or like uh, you know he's like my guardian angel or something but I would never have known that if I didn't go on Google or if I had known that Javi and Odin are the same person beforehand never would have known that the game does not make any effort to tell you And like, I, I totally understand that's like, there's there's multiple competing ideas on what the game design should be. Whether the game should tell you stuff or not. Like the locate areas, and the exploration areas, and it's like, I'm the kind of player that wants mission markers, map markers. I'm the kind of player who's who my my favorite RPG of all time well 
I won't say of all time, but one of the best designed RPGs that I have played is Fable 2 and Fable 3. And Fable 2 and Fable 3 are very simple. There is a big yellow line on the floor that leads you to where your objective is, and it stops where your objective is, and then it gives you a marker where your objective is, and it tells you where to go. But that cuts out on exploration if you're just following the line. If you, if you want to explore the world, and you don't want to follow the line, turn off the line. That issue could have been resolved with a simple switch in the options menu. Could have been resolved in the options menu. You could have had three different options. You could have had option number one, full, uh, full information where it gives you exact positional coordinates of your objective. It gives you exact positional coordinates of where you need to go, what you need to do, what you need to destroy, where you need to destroy it. And then you have a middling option. That's like what it is in this game, where some stuff shows to you, some, tough sh some stuff shows to you after you've waited a long enough time, and you can do the locate area thing to find the general area and then still have that exploration as a player. And then you can have the the like hardcore route where you have to use the bird and it doesn't give you any information and it's all on you and Odin's sight and everything. And then you, as a player, can make that decision and make that determination. And you know the sad thing is that option exists in the options menu. It's just not it's just not lenient enough. Um I I would I would not recommend this game to anybody. Unless unless you are a a a ridiculous like um Viking fanatic who like really understands the lore and what's going on and you really care if you're just an Assassin's Creed fan like me, this is not worth playing. I, you could easily get the exact same experience if you just want the knowledge of the lore and what happens. Just watch, watch, like the cutscenes from the starting section. Watch a couple of the cutscenes from like the middling sections with Sigurd, and then watch the final hour-long cutscene. And you've got the whole story. You've gotten everything that you need. And then the Layla stuff at the end. It, it gives you what you need to understand Layla's story arc. It gives you what you need to understand the Isu story arc. It gives you what you need to understand everything that's going on in the lore without that extra 40 hours of bloat crap in the middle. Because without that, I'm sure the game would be okay. If it was just the, if they just stuck to the main stuff and then had the, pacific the the pacification of England be your side content, that could be your side content. But like, sure, you you can you can pacify the whole continent if you want, but that's not the main allure of the game. But you have to do it in order to unlock the final the final sections of the game. It's ridiculous. It's just stupid. It it. it it could be done so much better, and it could be so much smaller. And it doesn't even... And, and I haven't even started talking about the, the technical problems with the game. This game crashed on me probably 10 or 15, 20 times. 10 to 20 times. Just hard crash to the desktop. Now. Could that be Ubisoft KK? Interesting. Um... Could that be my hardware? Sure. My hardware is pretty old. I'm looking at upgrading right now. Could that be my hardware? Sure. Could it be the fact that the game is a broken piece of shit? Sure. Um, either way, there's no excuse for a game crashing that many times. Could it be that I'm using cheats? Yes. Absolutely. The, like, There are a million reasons why my game could be crashing a lot. I'm teleporting all over the map where I shouldn't be. Like, I, I accept this, and the game's crashing 
isn't something that I'm really hung up on because I'm not playing it as intended. Full, full disclosure there. But, from what I understand online, it's an issue that affects a lot of players. Um, and has affected it pl a lot of players for a long time. I, I was able to soft lock myself in a mission. And if I didn't have a previous save, I wouldn't be able to continue. Again, the reason I was soft lock was because I was cheating, and because I had one hit kills, and because there's no chance that you would ever be able to do that under normal circumstances. Totally understand. But the fact that if I didn't have a save before that, I would have had to start all the way over again is ridiculous. And the fact that there's no failsafe for that is ridiculous. That it's like, the way that it's coded, the way that that boss is probably coded is... That boss splits into two different bosses when you do enough damage. The boss that I'm thinking of that softlocked me. That boss splits into two different bosses. And the logic for... Finishing the boss fight is probably upon the death of that character. You end the boss fight. But if that character never exists because the first character is instant killed. And it moves past the, the allotted health bar. Then it just never spawns the second boss. The, the two bosses. And so you can never progress the fight past that. Um... And I guess it just wasn't ever an issue that was contemplated because nobody would ever have the ability outside of cheating to make that happen. Totally fair. Um, totally, totally fair. But a game should never be soft locked like this. soft locked like that for any reason. There's always contingencies. There's always things that can happen to make you do more damage than the developers intend. And if, for whatever reason, the player were to do more damage than the developers intended, then it, it, it would soft lock your game. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm not going to stay too long on that one. It is what it is. I do, I do appreciate some of the different options menus, options that they put in the options menu. They got rid of the annoying level scaling. Not that I needed it. They got rid of the annoying level scaling. Holy shit, there's so many credits for this DLC. Um, there's, there's, there, there's so many extra options to. Um, that affect gameplay, that affect how difficult things are, how that affect how long things take. And it still is just not enough. Because everything else is just so fucking big. I don't know. I... I th there's, there's a YouTuber by the name of Skillup who I, I respect highly. And his description of this game is perfect. It's boring, it's bloated, and it's endless. It is the exact same, it is the definition of doing the exact same thing over and over and over and over and over again for 20 to 30 hours. Like, no reward at the end. It's like Destiny. Except with worse gameplay. Anyway. That, that's... It's my rant over, I think. I hated this game. And I never want to play this game again. And I would absolutely never recommend this, this game to a single person. Um... I'm going to let the rest of these credits go. 
and uh, I will be back after they're done to see if there's anything else that we need to do before we end this video in this series um and uh we'll play the credits for the main game and we'll sit through those and then we will be done and we will move on to assassin's creed mirage to maybe find out something about basim and the more interesting characters of this franchise
the wolf is coming, brothers and sisters. It finds us all in the end, no matter how we hide. In its jaws is an end or a beginning. And we will never know which till the last black bite. Should we lay down for it then? Bear our throats to its teeth or fight with every sinew in our bodies to hold it away, knowing always that our strength must fail. And the wolf will take us. I know only this. Each day is a gift from the dead to the living. Each smile brought by another's tears. And when the wolf runs free, all we will have are those we fought to keep. So I will keep you, my people. I will fight the wolf for every inch of this land. Till the hour he claims me. I will buy you your days of love and laughter. Use them well. Okay. That's the end. We're done. It's over. I, uh... I hope that anybody that lasted this long understands why I feel the way that I do about this game. Um, I feel like this game just so much could have been so good if it was just shorter, smaller, less bloat, less, less game. We finally got our theme song. Finally got our Assassin's Creed theme song. I didn't even talk about the sound design. I don't think I've ever played a video game that has had worse sound design. The volume of everything changes. It's weird. Because like everything is like really quiet and muted. But if you touch your if you touch your mouse and keyboard controls, <laughs> it goes like three or four decibels higher. It becomes way louder. Um yeah, the sound design was terrible. The bow sounded terrible when I shot it. Um, the voice acting was bad. The swords didn't sound good. None of it sounded good. The sound design was bad. There's basically no soundtrack in this game. I don't know. I, I, I give this game... I give this game a 1 or a 2 out of 10. With mods. Without mods, it's an unplayable 0 out of 10 video game that I would never wish upon my worst enemy. Um, I'm glad to have gotten through it. And I'm glad to have finally concluded this fucking trilogy of games. And... Jesus. Oh, it's because I... Because I touched my mouse and keyboard, it got louder. You see? See what I'm talking about? Um, again, we have Basim's game next. We have uh, Mirage, which I'm excited about. Maybe we'll actually get to learn something about who Basim is and why he did all that shit at the end of, uh, at the end of, uh, uh this game. But, uh, I still will need to look up guides, guides, I still need to look up, um, like a lore video. They basically understand what happened, it is, this tree thing is a supercomputer that's connected to the supercomputer in Assassin's Creed 3, and when Desmond activated the thing in Assassin's Creed 3, it activated the supercomputer um, in this game. And Basim was working with Aletia so that Basim could get the staff so that he could get out of the machine so that he could free 
And now he's immortal and has the staff and is also looking for William Miles, who is the assassin leader at this point. Not... Not that his character is that fleshed out or has been on screen for many games. Actually, he was in. He was in. Um, he was in Origins, wasn't he? He was in a wheelchair. I don't know. I even among Assassin's Creed games, this is the worst one. And outside of the Assassin's Creed franchise. Don't play this game. Don't play this game. Would not recommend it. Anyway, I'm going to end it there. Finally done. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. I'm going to let the rest of the credits go. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please be sure to leave a like and be sure to subscribe. All that YouTuber nonsense. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. <sighs>